Hello, this is your friend Tim, and I've come to tell you another chapter of my exciting Christmas adventure with the little elf who is only no feet three and who jumps. He jumps up and down, backwards, forwards, and sideways. No wonder he's called Jump Jump of Holiday House. Well, no sooner had we escaped from the ice dwarfs than something else happened to stop us from approaching the Ice Queen's palace. We were on our way there to save Santa's reindeer. This time, it was a great big crack that suddenly appeared in the ice right across our silver path. He went down, down, down. So far, you couldn't even see the bottom of it. It was so deep, and it was much too wide to jump across. Merry Holiday, Sleepy Slim the Lion, Achi Pogli the Clown, and the poet, Jump Jump, and I just stood there looking down and feeling thankful that we hadn't fallen over the edge of that deep crack in the ice. I'll tell you all about what happened next in just a minute. saw such a deep crack in the ground, Mary Holiday. Neither have I, Tim. I don't know how to get across. <laughs> Isn't that the ice queen laughing? Yes, Tim. Oh, I'm sure it is. She's laughing because she has succeeded in stopping us from reaching the ice palace. Mary Holiday, we're not stopped yet, I say. We'll surely find a way. But how, poet? How can we possibly get across this gap in the ice? I could jump across. Oh, no, Jump Jump. You stay snug in my pocket. Not even you could jump that far. Mary Holiday is right, Jump Jump. It's much too far to jump across. I think, indeed, a bridge we need. Yes, Poet. What do you think, Sleepy Slim? <sighs> oh, he's fallen asleep again. Really, Sleepy Slim can take a nap no matter what happens. Hachi Pogli, have you any ideas? Hachi Pogli's shaking his head, Mary Holiday. He looks too discouraged to say anything. I know, I have an idea. What, Tim? Oh, no. At first I thought we might try to throw a rope across the gap. But of course we left the dog team back at the Ice Forest Cavern. We couldn't have any ropes with us now. What we need is more Christmas spirit, Tim. Oh, I wish the Christmas fairy were here to advise us. That's very true. I agree with you. Oh, fairy dear, we hope you're near. Look at the poet's word. They are freezing in the air. Jump Jump is right. How strange it looks. Our words are freezing in the My air. My words freeze too. So they do, Jump Jump. They're little tiny words, but they freeze all right. It must be so cold that even our words are turning to ice. If it weren't for the Christmas fairy's protection, we couldn't stay alive in such cold. Oh, I wish she would come to advise us. Let's all wish together, shall we? Yes, everybody wish hard. Please, Christmas fairy, come and help us. She's coming, Mary Holiday. She's coming. Yes. There she is. See? Floating above our heads. Oh, we're so glad to see you, Christmas Fairy. An angel fair with golden hair and face alight with love so bright. Oh, we're sure glad to hear your call again, Christmas Fairy. We want your help. 
You see, we don't know how to get across this gap in the ice, Christmas Fairy. What shall we do? Yes, Christmas Fairy. Yes. What's she saying, Mary Holiday? We're all aglow and long to know. Well, I'm not sure I understood what she meant, but she said, build a bridge of words. Well, that can't be right, or can it? Look, she's gone from sight already. I know what she meant. I know. What? Jump, jump. Make a bridge out of words. Oh, jump, jump means frozen words, Mary yeah, Holiday. That's what I mean. It comes to me. I think I see. Well, I wish you'd tell me then. I really don't understand at all. Don't you remember? A little while ago, we noticed how the poet's words froze in the air, Mary Holiday. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. When I recite, in the air I write, with words of ice. It's very nice. Oh, now I understand. But how can we build a bridge of even frozen words? The Christmas fairy suggested it, so I should think it would work. Oh, me, oh, my. Now we can try. Oh, of course we can try, and right now. We've got to get across the gap and be on our way. Let's recite one of the poet's verses. Well, my latest is nice. It will look well in ice. Is it written down on paper so that we can all read it, poet? Oh, I hope I've not lost it. I'd love so to frost it. <laughs> is it on that bit of paper sticking out of your pocket, poet? Yes, yes, yes. I really do confess your eyes are sharp today, Miss Mary Holliday. May I have the poem, poet? I'll hold it up so that we can all read it aloud together. I think the stronger the voices, the larger the word will be, don't you? But let's try it anyway. Can I say it too? Of course you can, Jump Jump. Can you see all yes, right? Yes, I'll look over the edge of your pocket. It isn't a very long poem, Poet. That doesn't make any difference, Tim. We can say it over twice. We'll say it twice? Oh, that will be nice. Uh, <clears throat> let's go. I call it snow. 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 Oh, look, it works. The words have turned to big, solid blocks of ice, and they're hanging in the air right above the gap. It's wonderful. They look strong enough to hold us up all right, Mary Holiday. But we need lots more ice words to reach the other side of the crack in the ice. Well, all right. Let's finish the poem. Snow, snow, snow. snow. Everywhere I go, I really like to know if anything would blow in such a mess of snow. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't your best poem, poet. But how useful. Yes, there's a solid bridge of frozen words reaching from one side of the gap to the other. Oh, boy, we can go across now. Hooray, hooray. I'm glad to say we're on our way. Where well, the bridge is as wide as a street. Come along, everybody. Let's hurry across before the ice queen happens to notice what we have done. Take care, Mary Holiday. The bridge is solid, but it's made of ice and it might be very slippery. Is Jump Jump all right? I'm fine, Tim. Whee! Over the bridge we go. Oh, take my arm, and then no harm can come to you, Miss Mary, do. Oh, you all take such good care of me. Thank you, poet. Coming, Tim? I'm right behind you, Mary Holiday. Whew. Just take a look down, will you? I can't even see the bottom of that crack below us. Come, Sleepy Slim and Little Tim and my friend the clown. Oh, don't look down. Twill dizzy make you. No mistake, you. Well, here we are, all safe on the other side of the gap. Yeah. Now we must hurry to make up for lost time. How far do you think we are from the Ice Queen's Palace now, Mary Holiday? Oh, surely only a few miles, Tim. No sure. wonder she wanted to make us turn back. But we'll never do that, will we, Mary Holiday? Not until we've rescued the reindeer and taken them safely home to Santa Claus, Tim. Let's all watch out. If the Ice Queen's about, she'll try a trick because she's quick. That's right, Poet. 
Let's all stay close together now and keep your eyes open and listen carefully for any unusual sound. Well, Mary Holiday, we will. Now that we were getting so close to the Ice Queen's palace, my heart began to beat so fast that at first I thought it was the sound of an army marching towards us. But no, I couldn't see a thing. Then suddenly, Archie Pogley shouted, Look out! Where? What, Archie Pogley? Oh, yes, to our left. Whatever can that be? Oh. Oh. What is it, Mary Holiday? I hear running feet. Yes, Chuck Chuck. I hear the sound of running feet, too. But I can't see anything except a, a whirling cloud against the white snow. The glare on the snow makes it hard to see very far. I thought that sound was my heart beating. Oh, Mary Holiday, Archie Pogley, what's coming now? Oh, goodness. There's that ice queen's laughter again. What is it? Uh, let's stay close together. Can you make out what it is, poet? It seems to me that it must be a danger great. And if we wait, we'll be run o'er and glad no more. I can make out something now, Mary Holiday. I can see a whole crowd of animals rushing toward us. I can see polar bears, Tim. Yes, there are polar bears, Jump Jump. I can see a lot of seals and funny black and white birds flapping their wings. Those are penguins, Tim. The Ice Queen must have imported those from the South Pole. We'd better run. This won't be fun. Oh, we can't outrun that herd of animals, poet. Oh, Archie Pogley, Sleepy Slim, can't you think of something we can do? Listen to the noise they make. It sounds like a herd of wild horses. Maybe we had better run for it, Mary Holiday. No, that's just what the Ice Queen wants us to do, Tim. I'll fetch them. Oh, Tim, catch Jump Jump. He's jumped out of my pocket and is taking big jumps toward the stampede of bears. Jump Jump, Jump Jump, come back here. The bears are coming very near. Oh, oh, it's worse than trying to catch a grasshopper. He jumps so fast. Jump, jump, you can't fight wild animals. Oh, please let me catch you. You'll get run over in a minute. Oh, I can't catch him either. He's so angry, he's talking to the elk talk again. Oh, jump, jump, you'll be hurt. Archie Pogley, can't you do something? Help us. It looked pretty desperate for jump, jump right then, because he was jumping right toward the crunching crowd of polar bears and wouldn't stop, no matter how Mary Holiday called to him. And the ice cream laughed again. He heard it echoing all over the sky. It gave me the shivers. I didn't know what was going to happen next. It was Archie Pogley who was going to think something to do. So be sure and listen tomorrow and see what it was. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>